Welcome back to my YouTube channel guys, Keck AC Productions here. And today I'm doing a video. I have some new speakers for my Miata. So I'm going to be putting those in and we're going to test them out and see how they sound. Comparing it to the stock speakers in the NB Miata. I have purchased the, here's the box, the Polk Audio 5x7 inch coax speakers, the DB571. So we're going to plug those in. And we're going to test them out, and I'll have a, a part where I can show you guys taking, me the, taking the door off and putting the new speaker in. So I look forward to seeing the rest of the video, and see you in a minute. Alright, so here is the speaker. As you can see, it's the DB571. And I also got this part here, which is made for my Miata. It's from Metro again, just like my harness I got for my radio. And it has two of these in here. So what you use these for is it automatically makes it to where you can connect your original speaker connectors to the new ones, which I'll use for this. So I don't have to cut any wires. And I took that one out so you guys can see what the speaker looks like. Right here is the speaker. It's got the tweeter right in the middle. And there's the side. So the clip will add on right to this, this spot here. And it'll make a nice easy install. So now I'm just gonna switch over to the door and we'll put the new speaker in. All right, so here's the door. There should be a tab right here. Um, tabs over on this side. There's two tabs on the side of the door. And there is a screw where my finger is and there's a screw down here. And then we got a screw right there to take this little plate off. So we'll just take that off and we'll get to taking the door panel off. So now that we got all the screws out, should just everything should just pop right off. Here a few pops up and pull. And the other bolts will come out. The same size right here as the two other spots. There you go. Taking the whole panel off. And now we got access to our speaker here. And We'll get to that. Check it out.
All right. So here's the speaker, the original. And now we're gonna put the new one. All right. So I took the original speaker here and this piece here is what it was in. This is the basically the piece that holds it in place on the side here. So now that you did that, you can put the speaker right into here and mount it back into the original spot with the new adapter put on here. Fits real well and this will connect right to the speakers. So I'll get on to putting this on and then we'll stick it back into the door. All right, so I got the new speaker in. Make sure you use the original screws. They work better with the original casing here. Only two could fit because the way they had aligned um, with the holes on here, you're not able to um, fit it in there, but it only works on the two sides, or you can angle it just for the other two. But make sure before you even put the screws in at all, you put the harness in on the speaker through here because you can't access it without having to just do it. So put this on first and then put the harness on. So now that we got that done, make sure you put it in the right position, up position, and the letters are facing the correct way. So you just plug this into the adapter here and then you can put the speaker in. Well, guys, there it is. So that's how you put the speaker in. And you see I got the screws there, and I just put the originals back in the four corners. And it fits real well. There is glue that is used um, around it, so it's a little bit harder to get the original speaker off, but it holds the new one in place very well. So I won't show the other side because this is the same exact way to do it. Just copy the same setup as you did with the with this one. So you put the door panel back on, and I'll test out the sound, and I'll use a, my microphone, and I'll bring it in the car and see exactly how good it sounds. So we'll see you in the next part, and hope you guys enjoy.